Okay, hello, this is a quick video just to run through how to back up and restore a view connection server information. Um, here's my uh, connection server. I'm just looking at that through the view admin console. Hopefully you're all familiar with this um, with this console. A um, couple of ways you can create the backup um, command line uh, or, or through the GUI itself. It's automated to, on a schedule anyway. If you just click on edit here, pop over onto backup. You can see the backup details here, folder location and password that we're going to use. So that's where you can set that. Now, I am just going to make a couple of changes. I'm just going to enable the secure tunnel on PC over IP gateway. I'm just going to add a tag here just to show that we can revert back so let's just okay that so i've made my um i've made my changes for this demonstration now i'm just going to back this up so we can do a right click back up now okay and we can just wait for that to finish won't take long there we go now i've sent that to this backup and you can see that it's generated um, a backup there now it's also possible to run this on the command line and this is the commands that you would need to use it's a vdm export command Let me just grab this and get there eventually Just going to run that on the command line. And we can see that has also generated a backup file. Now I am just going to revert back those changes we made. Um, what you probably do in a real world scenario here is you'd have some kind of corruption um, and you'd have to reinstall the connection server software. Um, and then you could you could import this configuration, but just for this demonstration purpose, I'm just going to import it straight back into the existing one. So like I say, real world, this would be a brand new install that you'd be restoring this back onto. Uh, you'd need to stop the connection service at that point, and also the composer service, remove your connection server or uninstall the connection server. Um, you can't have that anywhere, and you need to have to restore. So in order for the restore, you would need to redo the connection server and reinstall the software. And then you could run this part of the equation of the equations here. And we're just going to run this VM, this VD import command, which is just going to decrypt our backup file because that file is, is encrypted. Um, and we've secured that with our password. So I'm just going to run this command here. So the switch here unencrypts it or decrypts it back onto this file. I'll put in my password credential there. And if we pop back into our backup folder, you can see there is my decrypted file. And then the last stage is just to run the import back in. and we can see we've got um, a successful import if we just pop back onto the console we can see that our settings are back okay well I hope that's useful um, as I say I've used, I've just been looking at this um, as part of the VCAP study guide haven't had to use this too much in uh, production, but it's a useful technique to know. Okay, thank you. Goodbye.